Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Kirby Superstar. This game is this game was originally released for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System in 1996, and it is advertised as being eight games in one. Where, um, well, they're really the same game, just um, you know, with different, slightly different mechanics. It's not really actually eight different games. Anyways, today is September 14th, 2017. Uh, just yesterday, Nintendo wrapped up their Nintendo Direct presentation, which involved a lot of new stuff that they're going to launch. Some more information involving Super Mario Odyssey, which is starting to look pretty darn good. And uh, most interestingly, um, among the announcements, was uh, a version of Minecraft intended for the new Nintendo 3DS. I'm very glad to see that Nintendo is still taking the 3DS product line actually seriously and they want people to have a reason to keep buying them. I really enjoy that because I've got a new Nintendo 3DS and I've had it for quite some time and I'm happy to know that I'm going to be able to keep using it for some time as well. Um, they've got things coming like um, the new Metroid game is actually launching tomorrow. I'm very glad that they remade Metroid 2. Um, a classic Game Boy game, of course, one of the, the most amazingly humongous Game Boy games that there was at the time. Uh, quite revolutionary sort of thing for a tiny little 8-bit screen like that to have such a massive world that you could get lost in. It's amazing to have, you know, big worlds like that on such a tiny little screen, like uh, Link's Awakening was another good example of an um, absolutely massive game on that tiny little console. Here we go, I'm gonna kill Wispy Woods right quickly and get, you know, killed by apples somehow. Alright Kirby, do the dance. Do that dance. Um, other stuff happening for Nintendo Switch. Uh, not too much at this point, to be honest. I still can't really think of a reason to get one just yet. I do want to play that Mario game pretty badly though. I've always enjoyed Mario games and I thought that um, maybe Super Mario 3D Land and 3D World had a little bit too much in common, uh, especially with 3D World um, just kind of getting repetitive after a while, how everything is sort of set along linear paths, and you can really only move in eight directions, you can't actually do full analog movement, which is something that bugged me. Like. The whole reason that games like Super Mario Sunshine and Super Mario 64 were uh, so revolutionary is that they had open worlds. Like you would go back into the same level several times and you would learn the world and you would just figure out how to navigate quickly and you would figure out just all the ins and outs of each level. And that was very entertaining uh, to have that sort of freedom of movement where you could... Like in Super Mario 64, it didn't matter which star you were looking for. You could usually find a lot of the other stars. Um, but that's a big change they made in Super Mario Galaxy where by choosing a different star before you enter the galaxy, it basically changes the entire level. And it's all just a linear path. Um, what else is there to say about the new Mario? Uh, I like that they're not afraid to start introducing new mechanics. Um, that was something really interesting about, uh, like, Super Mario Bros. 2, for instance, is that it was all this weird random stuff, like, from, uh, it was like this festival in Japan that has these four mascots or something like that, and, uh, they just decided to turn it into a Mario game because Shigeru Miyamoto made it, and... It was very Mario-esque in just the sense that it was just like a, a platformer and the visuals were very colorful. And uh, they made all that stuff canon. Like they brought back things like Birdo and Shy Guys. Like Shy Guys were a huge running theme, like in Yoshi games especially. Uh, and I thought that was just a really interesting choice. And I don't know, these days they seem to be afraid to branch out. They want to stick to this formula and it's like... At this point, if Mario were to go on record saying, like, he doesn't like, you know, baby corn or something like that, he would run the risk of alienating every part of his audience that enjoys baby corn. Just because he's so universal and because he has to have that mass appeal. And I, I don't know, I think risk-taking is a, a bit of a lost art these days with games. Everyone, everyone really plays it safe. Because, you know, who wants to run the risk of 
you know, being unpopular with a certain section of an audience, right? Anyways, I'm on uh, level three already of Spring Breeze, and I've got ice, and I'm just freezing enemies like crazy. I love using ice in this game. It's always been my favorite ability. I just thought that in Kirby's Adventure, it was really cool that that was like the only ability, uh, ice and the freeze ability, um, were the only ones that actually changed Kirby's color to blue. And I thought that was really cool, just for the novelty of, oh look, Kirby's blue now, isn't that great? Um, in all honesty, Kirby, I owe a lot to Kirby. Kirby is the whole reason I got into video games in the first place. Um, I think I was probably about three or four years old when I had the, the 1988, or 1989 rather, Game Boy. Just the gray brick with the green screen. And I, I played the, the, the bejesus out of that, I'll be honest. Um, and Kirby was one of the, the games where, like, it was easy for kids to get into. I, I guess that was kind of the idea, is that it was sort of a gateway to, you know, other video games that were a bit more challenging. Because Kirby has always been a pretty easy series to play. Um, and if it weren't for that, I would have just thought that video games were a nightmare. <laughs> Especially if I started with a game like Metroid 2. Because that game is hard. That, again, that game is brutal. It's unforgiving, man. Metroid games have always been pretty hard. But I like that they had... A, a, oh dear, that's not good. That's alright. No, I'm fine. I can respawn right outside. Yeah, I'm going to go back up here and get stone, and I'm going to use that to kill Krako. Because then it's only two hits. Like, one hit literally does, like, exactly half of his health. Boom. That's half. And... Wait for it. Three, two, one. Ah, no! Come on. Every single time I get too hyped, I mess it up. Flub it. Flubbed it, bro. I'll try not to sing along, that's lame. Unless I come up with lyrics or something. Last stage, Mount DDD! We're going! Kirby's coming for you, motherfucker! You about to get dumped on! That's right! Drop the hammer! I mean, the rock! Drop the rock! Can you smell what Kirby's cooking? Yeah. Here we are in the fucking wrestling ring, too. Yeah. Take it. Taste the pain. Yeah, champion versus challenger. More like champion versus uber champion. Yeah, that's right. That's right, three hits, sucker. Use a weak. Use weak. You is weak. Yo, you is weak. Yeah. yeah, do the happy dance. No, the castle's sad. <laughs> I I don't empathize with it very much. Look at Kirby. He's just like, nah. Well, it's a living. Yay, Sakurai! Thank you, Sakurai. You made my childhood wonderful. I remember this scene from the original Kirby's Dream Land, and I remember I was just like, yes, yes, yes. Oh, extra game, what's this? Holy shit, these enemies are so fast. Oh God, it's like a nightmare. Yeah, that's pretty much how it went, because let's be honest, extra mode in Kirby's Dream Land is absolutely brutal. Like the enemies move so fast. And the bosses especially are just a nightmare. Like Kabula, the, the big like airship dude with the big cannons. Like he moves so fast in the extra game, it's unbelievable. Like I, I don't know if I can show footage of it or anything like that, but take my word for it. Extra mode in Kirby's Dream Land is crazy. Anyways, that's Spring Breeze. I'm gonna start on Dynablade before I end this episode. I'm gonna do the first level. Uh, yeah, just the first level. And then I'm going to move on. Please don't tutorial me. Come on. Do you know who you're talking to? You're talking to Kirby. That's right. When you talk to Kirby, he's like, Bye, y'all! And then he kicks your ass! So I'm going to I'm gonna go through this level. 
Yeah, you can see what I'm doing already. Don't, don't say what you're doing when you can see what you're doing already. Say what you're gonna do, maybe. Or, or something. I don't know. Make a joke. Do a silly voice. Do a silly voice. Like, uh... Uh... Space Ghost! I'm Space Ghost! That's not a very good... No, you, you can't imitate George Lowe. But I still like his lines. <laughs> yes! Cedar, birch, mahogany, rustic pine. Wood is good food. Here we go. Wood is good food. Like that, um... What was that one? <laughs> banjo. That's right. <laughs> no, Banjo! Why do we always hurt the ones we love? Oh, shit. These buttons are very small. I find I find my thumb is way too big for these buttons, so I keep on uh, pushing the A button at the same time as the B button. It's a little weird. It's alright, though. I'm going to exchange this parasol for a sword in just a second here. Uh, and that's going to make things pretty cool. So you can just, like, jump through the air and do that spinny thing. Pretty cool. And you can shoot lasers from your sword, just like, uh, Link from that, their, that, their, uh, Linky, Linky style games. You know? You know, with the, with the, with the Ganondorphins and, uh, um, Ganondorphins. <laughs> that's what, that's what Ganondorf feels when, when he, he slays Link. Like, you know, when you get a game over, he, he gets a Ganondorphin rush. You know, he, he um... What else we got? He 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 goes to Sea World to see the Ganon Dolphins. He um uh I can't think of any more. Those are really bad. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop. <laughs> yep. Okay. Here we go. Yep. Here we go. End of the level. Excellent. 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 You can go to hell, sir. Thank you very much for landing on my head and exploding. Let's see if I can get one ups during this. Uh, 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 uh. Oh yeah! Perfect! Perfect baby! Shea! Gonna get three one-ups. That's good. Oh yeah, that's the stuff I like. Dance Kirby, dance for me. You know you're feeling it. Shake it. Perfect baby. Okay, that's the end of this episode. Thanks for joining me very much. You get to see more of my mad skills next time on Kirby Superstar.